Headed out on a road trip, in a recipe rut, eating just snacks all the time. Well, come along for my meal plan here on my road trip here in Colorado for a couple days. Meal planning can be tough for a road trip. Sometimes it's all fast food. Sometimes you don't have time. Sometimes you're just eating like a bird with just fruits and nuts. But I've got some helpful tips and ideas on how to shop, how to pack it up, and how to cook it up fast when you're headed out on the road. Hey, Chef Corso, I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks. And I am in the middle of Colorado outside of Salida. And man, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where I am because the place where I'm staying is pretty amazing and I don't want all of you, uh, you know, coming over here. But we are talking about meal planning for a couple days on the road, which can be a challenge or you just make the same stuff and you get a little bit bored. So what we're gonna do in this video is go through my meal plan is I'm on the road for the next three days of eating. Sometimes you do need to plan and provision for longer, but most of the time you're in kind of that three to four day range and just need to get some stuff and be able to have some tasty meals on the road. So first up is how many meals are we planning for here? So with my itinerary, I need about five meals. So I need dinner tonight plus two meals for the next two days. I know how I eat. We also have some snacks in the rig too. So I'm just looking for two main meals a day. But if you need more than that, you know, go ahead and plan. But that's what I'm planning for. So I'm planning for five meals. So now that we know how many meals that we're planning for is first thing, and this is a really, really great tip when you're meal planning inside for a backpacking trip or for a road trip is start in the pantry. So I already have quite a few pantry ingredients that I kind of want to get through. And for me, I love getting through stuff because that means I, I bought it and I ate it and then you know I can go buy some more. But so here are the few things that I have in the pantry that I want to start to use up. And as you can see here, there's quite a few packaged items that are really available. The pre-cooked rice, the beans, the peanut butters, all of these are really great to have in the pantry in your rig or uh, at home for your backpacking trip. So once I kind of figured out what is in the pantry and how I want to use it up, then I kind of brainstorm about different flavors that I could use. Where my head goes with some of these ingredients is that I could make some Thai one night, some Mexican, some quick little rice bowls, maybe some loaded mashed potatoes, but that's where my head goes when I'm starting to think about different flavors and different things that sound good using my pantry ingredients. So next, it's time to go to the grocery store. And as you can see, I do have a cooler on this trip, so that really opens it up about what I could possibly buy. But uh, I've got a couple different proteins, I have got some fresh veggies and what I like to do is just buy a couple, you know, when we're, we're provisioning, sometimes we get all excited and buy all this food, but sometimes we buy too much. Uh, again, again, each trip is different and you might need to, to buy a lot, but for most of the road trips, there's going to be a store in a few days. So I like to try to focus on a couple, minimize it, and then I can always, always buy more. And then the last thing I did is I did purchase some items that don't necessarily need refrigeration that will be able to complement some of the meals that I've got in the old noodle up here. Quick meal plan and recap. Start in the pantry to see what you have already. Use that as a brainstorm for some tasty meals. Then provisions for some meats, cheeses, and veggies that can help complement and complete your bowl. But then also for this, don't stress about this. It's going to be okay. Sometimes you just need some instant mashed potatoes and some bell peppers for dinner and that's gonna be fine. And the thing about it is if you're eating that right here, it's gonna be pretty darn good. So come along as I make my meal plan and we'll see what I eat and also where I eat it.
All right, it's been simmering for just a few minutes and with that thin sliced pork or chicken or tofu or just veggies, it really doesn't take that long. Mm, man, I wish you guys could be here to smell this because this smells amazing. And it's only really been cooking for like five minutes. Nice. So you could easily add some rice, add some noodles uh, to make this a little bit more hearty. You could throw it in or cook it on the side, but let's give it a taste. So, so this is your chance to adjust it. You could always add more. So I'd like a little bit more salt or fish sauce. And I'm in a pretty spicy mood tonight. And even though I already put quite a bit of chili in there. So a little bit more, a little bit more chili. Shut off the heat. And then the last thing that I'll do is throw in our snap peas. because I like to keep them nice and fresh easily throw some green onions or you know pick your own veggie party for this and then one of the best parts is a nice squeeze of lime on top oh yes so this is quick thai soup again you could throw some starch in it add more veggies choose your own protein but having a few pantry ingredients and a few ingredients we got from the grocery store man this cooks up super quick really tasty
Well, thanks for coming along for some of my road trip meals here in the middle of Colorado. But I am finishing off my, my trip here at the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Yeah, look, look at that. You've got a whole bunch of crazy sand dunes right next to a beautiful ridgeline. We've got kind of a moody morning here this morning. But before we go, let's see what's left in the cooler. <laughs> well, would you look at that? I ate everything except a half a jar of salsa. So I say that was successful. I didn't have to buy anything else. I can go provision for the next round of meals, but that is a very, very successful meal plan. And as you can see by some of the recipes that I made, super, super tasty. I didn't have to compromise and just eat a bunch of dog food or something. But get out there, cook something amazing, somewhere awesome. Boca boca.